Hey guys, it's Claritha and I want to talk to you about fire cider. If you follow my Instagram stories, you probably saw me making it earlier in the week and I just wanted to give you some more information about it so you can help yourself be cold and flu free this winter. So it snowed this morning, so I'm a little behind on my timing of making fire cider, but um, better late than never, right? So fire cider is a spicy concoction um, that is antibacterial, antiviral, and anti-inflammatory. And because it's spicy and pungent, it's also a natural uh, nasal decongestant, and it's really good to keep your blood circulation going because it's a very warm, it's a very warming um, drink. So it's a combination of horseradish, lemon, ginger, turmeric, onion, garlic, and jalapeno. So before you think that it's going to like blow your head off, it's actually, you're only just taking a little bit. So um, you chop up all those things, you top it off with apple cider vinegar, and you let it rest. So what it looks like, which mine is resting right now, is, is this. So we've got all this goodness in these guys right here. And I might open one of them actually um, at the end of this or end of next week. And then I might let the other one sit for another week or two because you want it to sit for about two to four weeks before you open it. And then you're going to strain it and then preserve the liquid. And that's what you're going to take as your fire cider, fire cider shot um, to keep your immune system strong. So. Typically in the winter, I take a shot of that, about an ounce every day, and um, you can do that all winter. So it will, it's very warming, it's very delicious, even though it is spicy, so you might wanna chase it with something a little cooler. Um, but if you do get sick, you can actually double that. And um, yeah, just keep it up all winter. And um, you can find the uh, recipe, which is not a strict recipe, it's just kind of, equal parts all of those things but if there's some things that you don't like you can you know substitute out or if you have an allergy or something um, but I just kind of loosely do equal parts and um, yeah throw it in so you can find the recipe on my website jadepathacupuncture.com and go to the blog post go to the blog link and just type in fire cider and you should be able to find it right away and um, for those of you in Chicago, don't forget that I am a board certified herbalist as well. So if you're looking, if you're getting sick or you think you're getting sick or you want something to keep at home, um, book an appointment. We can make a formula that's more customizable for you and what's going on in your body um, before you get sick because that's, it's, it's easier to prevent getting sick than going backwards. So um, let's keep you healthy. And um, if you have any comments or questions, please write them below. And um, remember to wash your hands, guys.